Hi, my name is Anis Griffonia. Welcome to how to install Microsoft Loopback Adapter for Exchange Server 2016. This video will take about 9 minutes, so let's start. In this video, I'm going to use the loadbalancer.org virtual appliance, and in this configuration, we have a layer 4 virtual service on port 25 connected to three Exchange Servers 2016. On the service connection graph, you can monitor the real network traffic for each server. And just for training and demonstration, I'm going to hold the first two exchange server where the Microsoft Loopback adapter is in place. What I'm going to do now is to generate SMTP traffic to the load balancer using multi-mail. And as you can see, the mail generator seems to be stuck. Under Reports, you can monitor the layer 4 current connections. And as you can see, the state for each session is in sync receive. What I really like from the loadbalancer.org website are the deployment guides, which are very technical with a high level of details. For this video, I'm going to use the Microsoft Exchange Server 2016 deployment guide. What I'm going to do now on Exchange Server 03 is to install the Microsoft Loopback adapter as explained from page 40. I've created a loadbalancer.org virtual domain on my lab environment just for training and demonstration.
and I've also added in this video two excellent books I've used during my preparation exam on the Microsoft Exchange Server 2016. And we are now near the end of this video, so I'm going to check the real server graph and the traffic counters for this Exchange Server. So thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel or keep in touch through my website for any kind of request. Bye!